Three men storm a house with guns drawn, but when the deputies arrive, they kill one of the suspects. And now deputies, they've got a second suspect in custody. Valerie Boy, live in Lake County with more. Hey there, Bob. Well, the home invasion took place in the house behind me and across the street over there. Well, I saw deputies drawing their guns and taking down another suspect. Meanwhile, another is still on the loose. Get on your knees now. Get on your hands and knees. Get on your knees. This is exclusive video of Lake County deputies arresting suspect Richard McNeely. It happened 300 yards away from where a home invasion took place this morning off Taylor Street. Miller Dives is a reporter from the Daily Commercial. He says he was interviewing a neighbor when he noticed something strange by a truck. I walked over to it and I noticed there was a person who was squatting down behind the truck. And so I told him that there was a person, and then that's when I ran to the street and to one of the deputies. Deputies say three home invasion suspects broke into this blue home where a family was inside. One person was pistol whipped and another shot in the hand. The victims were able to call 911, and when deputies arrived, they say they confronted one of the suspects. He pointed an assault rifle at the uh, deputy, at which point the deputy uh, fired his weapon. Investigators say 20-year-old Shakari and Avant was shot and later died at the hospital. I couldn't believe it. Avant's cousin, Nanette Jackson, says he shouldn't have been shot. He once lived in this house, which is just a few doors down from the home invasion. Yeah, it's consequences to his actions. What he did was wrong. It was wrong. But as far as him being shot, I don't think they had to shoot him. Avant's stepbrother also told us that the gun he had was jammed. He didn't deserve to die. As deputies continue their search, neighbors are worried. It's crazy. I'm scared to be home alone. I don't want to be here. So I went to my friend's house. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ives has been a crime reporter since 1998. He's never become part of the story until today. Pretty sure it was the first time that I actually saw one of the suspects they were looking for. We still have an active crime scene. And no one in the house wanted to talk to us. Meanwhile, deputies are searching for a person of interest. His name is DeAndre Brown. Anyone with information is asked to call the Lake County Sheriff's Office. Live in Mascot, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.